Hello everyone, hello YouTube, my name is Vic of EOS Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive once you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news Okay, so without further ado, let's begin So this is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year to get notified of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies, alright? So guys, I'm going to share with you the newsletter itself, alright? So let's go to the newsletter. So this is it. So this was the one that was received by the subscribers some hours ago. And as you can see, the first thing that you're going to view once you open it are three are the three um, news updates. Okay, so these are the news updates and I'm going to share it with you one by one. Okay, so the first one is this one. So ecosystem. So it's this one. So EOS ecosystem shoots beyond 1.2 billion US dollars in 80 days. So it's been four months since the launch of EOS mainnet. During the first two months, everything seems to have fallen into silence along with the downtime of the crypto market. However, EOS seemingly embraced its first wave of explosion in the past two and a half months, after, uh, starting from mid-August, reaching 8.2 billion RMB or 1.2 billion US dollars within 80 days. Okay, so, so it's been uh, okay. Some people were befuddled. Without further ado, DAP review uh, will now unravel the myth behind the dazzling numbers of our readers via a few angles. The bundled PR strategy of Wallet plus EUS nodes. The countless peripheral positive cash flow opportunities and how the investors profit or lose money from those steps. These are the fearless EOS. So until three dApps went live from August 10th to October 30th, totaling 220 million EOS equivalent to 8.2 billion RMB or 1.2 billion US dollars. Okay. So close to half of those dabs fell under the vice category to be more exact gambling. The blue sea two months ago is now despicably red. Dabs were launching every other day. In the first 1.5 months, EU's bet enjoyed its first mover advantage. Red received an awful lot of cash. Until the burst of bet dice that suddenly broke its record in every single aspect, and even spiked above the unimaginable 10 million EOS inflow line in one day. Fast forward to mid-October, when we saw blooming ways of gameplay fighting brutally just for inches of market share, farm EOS, EOS poker, and endless dice and others. So as you can see, most are gambling um, dApps. Among the top 10 dApps, 7 are gambling, 2 are DEX, and 1 remaining is a CPU rental service. Once you take a look at the table, you should be able to grasp why the gambling space is a cruel red sea. The top 10 generate revenue of 190 plus million, uh, 100 million plus EOS versus the remaining 51 that only share 1.7 million EOS. Extreme Matthew effect indeed. So 1.1 Mechanism and competition in the game gambling and gameplay. Holistically speaking, most EOS gambling games follow a similar rudimentary framework despite the variety of rules. Here's how it works. 
The DAP issues its own tokens in the game and distributes the token proportionally by the amount users contribute in every round. The rewards also follow a halving schedule every specific period of time. So the development team periodically distributes dividends to all the token holders. Although the expected value of the winning probability in such gambling games is negative, token holders, assuming they are rational investors, can still realize profits from dividends and sell tokens once the token is listed. So we we have a few examples here. So EUS bet. EUS bet is the first gambling dApp on EOS also being the first one distributing dividends. The good user experience coming from its strong operation easily sent it to the top of the EOS DAP's ranking. Nonetheless, the tokens are not transferable, nor were they listed on any exchange. In other words, it lacks necessary liquidity. Many players with a large share of tokens could hardly cash out despite all the dividends received. Not to mention that it got hacked twice. The game itself did not seek improvements in gameplay or operational strategies since the initial launch. So people got bored of the game more or less quickly. They ca then came Bad Ties, a game with seemingly better operation, tech, and token economy design. Speedily it took over top ranking of uh, the top ranking of EOS bet. So bet ties. Number one, well designed token economy and the promise of exchange listing enticed a bunch of initial miners. The bounty program, referral rewards, and lottery program also attracted some early adopters of the game. The participation of these miners and players contributed a dividend pool with a considerable size. Number two, benefiting from the halving mining schedule. Bet dice allowed early miners and private investors to reap profits from trading on the exchange, whereas retail investors who are bullish on the dividends can buy tokens on the exchange. Number three, the game was able to control the amount of tokens circulating in the market and thus stabilize the token price by applying a staking program to lock up tokens and avoid volatile market movement. Such market making uh, ability attracted more capital injection. Number 4. The lottery gameplay intensified user attention of the game as it diversified the product offering. The VIP program also improved the user experience for the players who spent a lot. The acceptance of BT and Black Token for payment opened up other channels of customer acquisition. In a word, Bet Dice embraced true prosperity with the optimizing efforts described above and never fell off from the top since the beginning of October. Since mid October, tens of new gameplay came into the limelight, including Farm EOS, EOS Poker, and Endless Dice. EUS Poker so EUS Poker was the first EUS gambling game that involved some strategy game theory more complicated but more fun for the players. The DAP was able to kick off the project with only the miners by allowing them mining with low cost optimal strategies and trade with a preset price on the exchange. The first group of players were attracted to the game by the dividends they could earn from their collateralized tokens. The team was uh, the team also complemented players with poker tokens to exchange for players taking CPU. Though it got hacked once, the dev team announced it would accept all responsibility and make up players' losses. And Listice was a game that hyped late, yet still hyped. Coding the mechanic analysis from Chinese crypto community and media. I don't know what this is, but it's a Chinese crypto community and media. So the next one is this. Uh, number one, the game doesn't have a token sale, meaning sale or pre-mine, allowing the game to start generating dividends shortly. 
as a result first mover advantage for the early adopters was high enough to attract miners and large investors to participate in the trading for example an account named like Terry Fox a large taken uh, token holder in BetDice as well as the large holder of ET has owned 4.5 M tokens in LS Dice and accumulated 3,000 plus EOS from the game. Number two. Immediately after the game hit the halving point, the token was listed on Udex to gain more liquidity, a very strategic move on behalf of the game. Number three. The dividends bring more players on board and higher trading volume. More importantly, the game does not require depositing of the tokens as collateral to receive dividends. In a nutshell, the halving schedule in mining is a seemingly direct and simple way to kick off and to incentivize the early participants. Still, a game without a matrix of products and corresponding operational strategy can simply die hard and quickly. Note. Uh, all these dApps are highly risky. This article only aims to articulate how the ecosystems work, but not to provide any investment advice. Okay, so there's also a lot. Um, there's a lot of other dApps here, and you can read it once you subscribe at Preferred Currency Dot News. Okay, so. This is the first uh, update, so it's called EOS Ecosystem, should be on for $1.2 billion in 80 days. Okay, so the next update is um, Bitcoin Cash ABC. Right, so Bitcoin Cash ABC is winning the war. The Bitcoin Cash war has been brutal to both Bitcoin Cash ABC and Bitcoin Cash SV as well as the cryptocurrency market as a whole or so some people are speculating bitcoin has lost over 20 percent of its value from before last week's bitcoin cash hard fork and both bch abc and bch sv miners have lost millions of dollars in gross revenue due to the high cost of mining and low price of bch the war has not been pleasant for everyone for anyone however it's been a week since the fork and BCH ABC appears to be winning the hash rate war by mining more blocks and having a longer chain that, than that of BCH SV. As well, BCH ABC prepares, appears to be winning the support of influential community members and cryptocurrency enthusiasts alike. As we all know, Roger Ver and his massive following support BCH ABC but other influential people do as well, John McAfee, the infamous crypto influencer and cybersecurity expert, declared his unending support for co founder of Bitmain Jihan Wu, which is the largest mining pool supporting Bitcoin Cash ABC. Okay, so this is it. So we don't speak often, and we have it has been all business. I see you're going to war. I am the oldest warrior still standing on the battlefield. Some might say this is a disadvantage, others not. In any case, if I can, so this was the tweet by John McAfee. So those who stand against Jihan Wu are idiots who don't see the realities of the playing field. Please get real. I will not let my ego destroy me by making me think I could challenge the only real power in this space. My email. To him should make it clear to anyone where I stand. So in addition to winning over influential individuals and crypto enthusiasts, BCH ABC is also winning over exchanges. A wide array of big, exchange, big exchanges have already unlocked Bitcoin Cash accounts and transition tokens into BCH ABC. Some exchanges have even maintained the same BCH ABC name for BCH ABC tokens all right so that is the second um, update and I think BCH ABC is winning the war all right so the next update is Ohio appears to be first US state to accept Bitcoin for taxes 
WSJ report. Okay, so let's close this one first. So the US state of Ohio is poised to become the first state to accept Bitcoin as tax payment. The Wall Street Journal reports today, November 25. As the uh, WSJ writes, the move initially implies only to businesses with plans to extend the offering to individual taxpayers in the future. Starting this week, Ohio-based businesses will be able to register to pay all of their taxes in the leading cryptocurrency. The payments are reportedly set to be processed via crypto payment service BitPay. So as WSJ reports, the crypto-friendly move was initiated by state treasurer John Mandel who told reporters he is looking to plant a flag for Ohio in terms of national cryptocurrency adoption. I do see Bitcoin as a legitimate form of currency. So Mandel also told the publication that he is confident that the cryptocurrency initiative will continue after his term ends this January. As an elected state official, Mandel told journalists that he is able to decide that his office will accept the digital currency without approval from the legislature or governor, the WSJ reports. In contrast, several bill th bills in other U.S. states in the past year have that proposed accepting crypto for taxes have been initiated, but state law lawmakers have delayed their final passing. Okay, so those were the three updates on the newsletter today. So. Okay, so let's go to the other main update on the newsletter. So this is done the group's research list. So the top coins for today are Bbox Token, Bancor, Cardano, Ontology, Litecoin, Bitcoin, EUS, Stellar, Davcoin, and BitBay. So just open this button or which will redirect you to the spreadsheet of Dal the Guru. So this is his research list. So let's wait for it to load so that you can see what are the... Um, here it is. So as you can see this is full of technical analysis information and as stated in cell A1 the red have negative news so stay away from the red ones. The orange 10 are neutral, the yellow are fair, the green have good news and the blue are showing the best news. So as you can see, the blue are the best ones that you should include in your research list. So guys, if I were you, I could I would include um, the blue ones in your research list or in portfolio today. So okay, so you can read the other information also here, right? So if I were you, I would subscribe now at preferredcurrency.news. Okay, guys. So, guys, since this is just a view only, you can edit it by following the instructions here. So this is the instructions. Okay. So also, if you want to earn crypto each month, you can become an affiliate by joining or by clicking this picture here or by going to the website itself and clicking affiliate at the upper right corner. Okay, so you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. Right, guys, so I think that's the main update on the newsletter. And guys, if you want to join the Telegram group of EOS podcasts and videos, you can freely join to keep up with the, all the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS. And also, if you want to join um, Initiative Q, you can use my invitation link below. Okay, at the description. So, and also if you want to get rewarded in crypto, just download Lumios.io in your favorite app store or in Google Play Store, okay? So guys, um, before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, okay? So guys, um, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.